of those who earned your anger, nor of those who went astray. Now listen to those supplications which were revealed from time to time on our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and for his followers. In these supplications, Allah Ta'ala has indicated the time and occasion of prayers. Here is a general supplication which is invoked during every Salat and it is suitable for all occasions. Rabbana atina fi dunya wa fi akhirati wa qina O Lord, grant us good in this world and good in the hereafter and save us from the punishment of the fire. Another supplication which is invoked as a choice before conclusion of Salat. Allahumma inni ghalamtu nafsi ghulman kathira wa la yaghfiru al-zunuba illa an tafaghfir li maghfiratan min indik warhamni innaka anta al-ghafur rahim Allah I have been unjust to myself none besides you grants forgiveness forgive me with the grace proceeding from you have mercy upon me verily you are the forgiver the merciful you know that due to torture and hindrances during the preaching of Islam Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam had to migrate from Mecca to Medina where the inhabitants of Medina willingly embraced Islam and helped the migrants of Mecca but they did not pose themselves superior to them showing their faithfulness they invoked blessings from Allah Ta'ala in this way Rabbana ghfir lana wa li ikhwanina alladheena sabaquna bil iman wa la taj'al fi qulubina ghillan lil ladheena amanu Rabbana in our Lord, forgive us and our brethren who have preceded us in faith and put not in our hearts any hatred against those who have believed. Our Lord, you are indeed full of kindness, most merciful. Now we quote general supplications which were revealed from time to time on our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam through the angel Jibreel in which Allah Ta'ala has guided the Muslims to invoke blessings from him. We are quoting here some of them. Surah Baqarah, ayat number 250 which relates to the battle between believers and disbelievers. ربنا أفرغ علينا صبرا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين Our Lord, bestow on us endurance, make our foothold sure and give us help against the disbelieving folk. There is a comprehensive supplication which is named Ayat al-Kursi in Surah al-Baqarah at Ayat number 255 for which the saying of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is narrated in Nisai ibn Sami 
and Albani that who recites Ayat al-Kursi after every Salat will surely enter into the Paradise. Please listen and act upon it accordingly. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum La ta'khuluhu sinatu wa la nawm Lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard Man za al-lazhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi-idhnih يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ وَلَا يُحِيطُونَ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنْ عِلْمِهِ إِلَّا بِمَا شَاءٍ وَسِعَ كُرْسِيُّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَلَا يَؤُودُهُ حِفْظُهُمَا وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ الله there's no God but He the ever-living, the one who sustains and protects all that exists. Neither slumber nor sleep overtakes him. To him belong whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. Who is he that can intercede with him except with his permission? He knows what happens in them in this world and what will happen to them in the hereafter and they will never encompass anything of his knowledge except that which he wills. His throne extends over the heavens and earths, and he feels no fatigue in guarding and preserving them, and he is the most high, the most great. Another from Surah Baqarah, ayat number 286. ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تُحَمِّلْنَا مَا لَا طَاقَةَ لَنَا بِهِ وَاعْفُ عَنَّا وَاغْفِرْ لَنَا وَارْحَمْنَا أَنْتَ مَوْلَانَا فَانْصُرْنَا عَلَى الْقَوْمِ الْكَافِرِينَ Our Lord, punish us not if we forget or fall into error. Our Lord, lay not on us a burden like that which you did lay on those before us. Our Lord, put not on us a burden greater than we have strength to bear. Pardon us and grant us forgiveness. Have mercy on us. You are our patron, supporter and protector. And give us victory over the disbelieving people. Listen to this supplication which is laid down in Surah Ali Imran, ayat number 8. ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب